Well, good evening, tubes. How are you hanging? Pretty good here. Um, yeah, pretty good here. Uh, today I had actually was swamped today. Swamped happens. Right now it's really happening uh, because of spring. Everything is just deciding to go right now. And uh, yeah, so I did absolutely not have any time to even get a camera going <laughs> during the day today. I'm just doing a drive around to see if anybody's in here. Eight o'clock closing the gates. Uh, looks pretty good. Pretty good. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I didn't get a chance. I had uh, the guys bring a huge mother of a monument today and two other ones that we set up. So uh, I was with them for a good chunk of the day and then, oh, it's just one thing after another, you know, on and on and on and on. And by the time you know it, it's five o'clock. So I had, uh, I didn't even, didn't even have a, a big camera down with me today. So uh, I do apologize for that. There won't be a normal, normal video up today, but um, uh, so sometimes that happens. So I did get a whole bunch of work done today too, which I've been wanting to do out here is, um, topping up and reseeding a bunch of areas here that I had spread topsoil on last year and I never got to um, get them seeded so I got them all done now I think and uh, yeah everything should be good so we were supposed to get thunderstorm this afternoon and nothing it's been sort of you know nice-ish like this outside so it's been weird but anyways uh, yeah so um, the last about 20 minutes of today I spent on that um, bench and put the other two boards on. I didn't, of course, film it because, you know, I didn't have the camera with me, but um, it's all good to go. I cranked the uh, bolts down good. I just got my little uh, 3 8 impact. It only puts out like 50 pounds of torque. It's hardly anything, so didn't end up busting anything on that, so I really torque down pretty good anyways they're de they're decent it's probably more than 50 it's probably more like 70 or 75 or something pounds but um yeah so anyways i'll maybe just quickly show you that i kind of want to get the gate closed here before people start coming in again because we do have a eight o'clock curfew time that we do try to stick by here Man, today even things have really greened up a lot. I don't know if I can really, can't really sort of show you with uh, what we're shooting with right now. It's just the iPhone right now. So, so that sort of, ooh, that's bright. So that kind of sort of means that I'm going to have to uh, get the mower tractor turned into mower mode soon, which maybe we'll do tomorrow if if I get time. It's just I don't know what it has been this year. The last two weeks here have been freaking insane with just people stopping in to talk to me and not not you fellow youtubers coming to talk like that it's just been you know monument guys and the cement guys and uh mostly the monument guys <laughs> it's it's been really busy you know they've been in pretty much well they've been in every day this week pouring cement new cement foundations and then uh they were in today delivering some new ones of course i did get a video of the giant rock that they set there but the guy that was in the video didn't i never asked him and he really doesn't like camera stuff so he might say no to it but it was kind of cool it was a freaking big rock like big enough that their big crane truck they had to park like right as close to the to the foundation as they could uh, but anyways just going to show you this bench here quick and then um because we'll head her out so there she is, all good. And you can sort of you know, sort of see I got the bolts kind of cranked right in. The washers are sunken anyway, so they're definitely holding good and tight, but they are still above the dewy, but I mean, you can sit on it and not have a problem. You're not gonna catch or snag your clothes on that. They're, there's nothing sharp on them, right? So um, yeah, they should be, should be fine, so. 
Anyways, that is that little project all done. I didn't even get time to uh, set it out, so we might have to do that tomorrow. Sometime tomorrow, but um, yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. And it worked, too. And I know there was mention about that thing and putting some kind of sealer stuff on it and stuff. Well, you know what? That other stuff never had anything put on it. They were outside for like 14 years. Never inside. I'd say that's pretty good for just spruce stuff. So I'm not going to treat them with anything, I don't think. Yeah, it's 14, maybe even 15 years they've been outside. So that's, that's pretty darn good, you know. Um cedar of course would probably last longer than that um supposed to um pressure treated though i didn't really really want to use pressure treated on it or really put anything on it um, as in sealer because people sit on those right you know i don't know if that sealer would leak leach stuff out into their clothing or or what you know that'd be freaking pretty bad they'd go home and they got board marks on their butt from sitting on it so i just bolt them down like that and leave them you know that's it so yeah but anyways uh i guess that's about it uh yeah tomorrow i think we're gonna do more mode i don't think there's anything else i want to run that is bright i don't think there's anything else that i want to sweep with the sweeper there's no snow there's no to blow now so that's good <laughs> hopefully <laughs> I've had two people ask me in the last week to um, what uh, when's the water going to be turned on out there. I'm like, well, not quite yet, because yes, it was like 17 today, but I seen on Sunday it's supposed to go down to a low of two uh, through the night. So I'm like, yeah, that's a bit early. Yet. You can feel it in the air. Eh? You can feel the air that it just feels cool yet. It's just not quite. I'm not quite wanting to do it yet, but. Um, uh, there's not too much I got to do. Just make sure all the taps are off and uh, hook the hose up to the back of the building onto the main, which I actually did that this morning. Hook the hose on and uh, then I have to uh, pretty much just turn the tap on the back of the building and then she starts to go, right? So it works pretty good. And uh, then I just have to go to the very end and bleed the airs out. It'll sit there and go for a few minutes and then it's good uh yeah so uh yeah but we were supposed to have a thunderstorm today and nothing i don't know what happened to that but we definitely didn't get a thunderstorm clear that gate now it should be good there so yeah but um what else was there i don't think there's a whole lot a whole lot else it's just been really busy so oh, i'm trying to get you guys some content up but when you know i can't even barely get the time you know for doing my actual work out there because there's all these people coming to, to talk to me and stuff it uh, makes it kind of hard to uh, get that done so unfortunately some priorities have to take over you know the the job and then and then I can get something up for you for you guys but uh, for right now the job is kind of taken right over until things kind of oh, out again a little bit right once we get mowing and stuff, it won't be so bad. But uh, oh, there goes something up the road. Hmm. Looks like one of my tractors, like the uh, the John Deere, or one small John Deere here. Had a loader on it and everything. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so what else? What else? What else? Uh, I don't think there's really anything else. This other that's been super swamped. Uh, this, I don't think I'm going to have a chance to get... Um, farm Sim up for you this week. Uh, for you Farm Sim farm sim fans so uh i just uh can't take the time you know i can't take the time to, to kind of do it so we'll have to maybe skip a week or two whatever on that and then hopefully get back to that schedule again but uh we all have to have to see what happens out here you know like i say job takes the priority unfortunately so um it just uh, especially this time of year just has to you know getting everything going getting the water on getting all the the, you know the graves filled in cleaned up getting all the stuff all seeded i threw a bit of seed on our front lawn here this morning too because it wasn't growing too well so i put some what did i put on there sun and shade because we got these trees on the front yard now and they uh, 
seem to be casting a lot more shade now and it's making it harder for the uh, grass to grow so but uh yeah other than that um i think that's it i got like a pile that's another thing that's been going on the job right taking taking over um priority uh with all these friggin cremations coming in now it does this every year right every spring everybody starts booking 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 so they uh it's good because i'll be able to try out my trailer and my uh the tractor ah that's a thing too i want to make on the side of the little green tractor trailer sorry something i can hang the ramps on while i'm driving and stuff and filling and stuff because i find what happens is i'll drive up to where my hole is usually unload on the road put the ramps down unload take the ramps off and just leave them on the side of the road and then i go into the whatever section do my job blah 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 so the ramps are kind of sitting out there i feel like not very sort of good so i want to make like some kind of hanging system from the side of the trailer so i can put one ramp on one side one on the other so when i dump two they can actually just stay there you know when it dumps up and uh, they'll actually stay there so that's sort of what i want to do trouble is though it looks like i'm gonna have to cut off my fenders which is fine because i don't take that trailer on the road so it doesn't really need fenders anyways it's not going like a super high speed the thing gets up to like 18 kilometers an hour i'd be surprised but uh, anyways, so that's I think what we're gonna maybe maybe try to do tomorrow too is make some kind of hanger system. Um, tomorrow too, the cement guys are coming back again, so I might have to be out with them for a little bit. I don't have to be there while they're really digging. I have to be there while they're to find it for them for one. Stay gate to find it for them for one where we gotta dig and uh, to help them line up in the right spot too to where they're supposed to be digging. So just hold on a second here, I gotta lock this gate up. Sorry, come with me and lock the gate. Here you guys stay, stay there for a sec, don't fall off. It's very expensive if you fall off the gate. Okay, we're good. We locked them in, or locked them out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, so I haven't really gone too far in my truck since they fixed it. Sounds about the same. Same sort of noisy, noisy noises, but uh, it all seems pretty good. Uh, so I guess we'll head her in and uh, call her a day. Can't think of really too much else other than, uh, well, what do we got to do tomorrow? Cement guys are coming. Cement guys are coming. I want to change the mower to mower mode, change the tractor to mower mode. So that's two things. Possibly get that track or trailer done so I can hang. Hang, hang, hang the ramps off it. I think I hear a little bit of a knocking. Hmm. I heard it when I left the dealership there too. I thought, oh geez, you'd hear like a as you left, but then as soon as I went up the road, it was gone. So I don't know what that noise was, but it sounds. Yeah, I don't know. It just makes me really nervous when you have to take an engine like half apart, put new parts into it. It's like usually usually they're never the same transmissions especially if you have to rebuild your transmission they're usually never the same again as new i don't know it's not consistent it's like it's like like morris code morris code i don't know she's still under warranty five-year warranty on these things I think they said eh, or a hundred thousand kilometers but I've got hmm, I've got that extended warranty thing there's 
definitely something knocking. Hmm. There's definitely a little knock of some sort there. This thing may have to go back in. May have to go back in. dug my driveway up. <laughs> I thought it was on the asphalt. Whoops! <laughs> I don't want to burn up my new tires, but I wanted to kind of hear that noise. Huh. Well, I guess we'll just drive on. Like I say, I still got Warranty to 100,000K or uh, five year, which I still got 2018, I think, is when the warranty would actually run out on this if you weren't at 100,000K. So, yeah. But then I do have that extended warranty, which is no time limit, but I think it's... I'm going to have to go look. I just looked at it the other day and I just can't remember now. I think it's 200,000 K, but I can't remember. Maybe it's only 100,000 too or something. I don't know. Let's, let's head her inside and we'll have a look. There's the original uh, sticker Dewey that was in the window. Shows you all the uh, stuff that's in it. The electric locking rear axle. Oh yeah, hill descent control. Warranty, three year, 60,000 kilometer basic. Five year, 100,000, 100, sorry, powertrain. So the three year is over. I'm not understanding what that means. Three year, 60,000 kilometer basic. But did they get an extra five year, 100,000 kilometer powertrain? That's good to know. Um, FX4 series, that's all the trailer brake controller, your review camera, heated it, heated cooled front seats, that's pretty awesome. Sorry for the shaky, it's, I'm really trying my best. Power, driver, and passenger seat, blah blah blah, HID headlights, electronic auto, temp, uh, remote start, Sony single CD sync, 2013, ruby red, it's called. EcoBoost. Look how much they paid for the EcoBoost. Twelve hundred fifty dollars extra. Woo. Uh, three seven three electronic locking rear axle. Whoops, sorry. Material environmental charge, whatever that is. Power moonroof. Thirteen hundred dollars extra. Nav system. Seven hundred. Max trailer tow package was seven hundred. Tailgate step 300. You know, the guy spent quite a bit of money on her, so there, there's what he, uh, the first guy that bought her, spade for her. Quite a bit. Plus tax and all the other garbage. Oh, and there's the, mm, where are we here? Hello, mileage there. 29 miles to the gallon on the highway, of course. Sweet. All right, this is the nationwide warranty stuff. There's what I paid for it. 37,000 basically plus tax of course which ends up being whatever 42,000 or whatever it was ridiculous should have just bought a new truck uh, but anyways yeah uh, so this this warranty this warranty expires so it's got um, warranty coverage expires when the odometer reaches 200,000 kilometers so I got uh, warranty till then no time limit um, specific covered components, so that's good. Engine, differential, supercharger, roadside assistance, air conditioning, car rental, blah, 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 braking, you know, right through it, you know, transmission, turbocharger, that's a good one, because uh, those things are freaking expensive. Heating, trip interruption, I don't know what that is, steering system, electronic, four-wheel drive, seals and gaskets, front and rear suspension, body hardware, zero deductible. There's some more lists of stuff that they uh, do cover. Um, engine, you know, if you want to 
pause it and read all that. Go right ahead. I'm just not going to read it all to you because these are such a huge list. Uh, turbochargers, factory installed only, which is fine. Transmission, transfer case, transfer case and all internal parts. Drive axle, all that stuff. Cooling system, fuel system, front and rear suspension, steering system, brake system, air conditioning system, electrical system, electrical high-tech factory installed. Automatic climate control, all that kind of crap, right? So, she's got pretty much coverage on everything, which is really good. Anyways, better call it quits. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you um, tomorrow. We'll do some more stuff. Pardon me, make sure the mower's still good, hopefully. She's been sitting up there in the garage all winter, so she should be good. Fire it up, and uh, I don't really have anything to cut yet, but it's not going to be long. <laughs> but anyways, have a good night. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you tomorrow.